Hi, welcome to Yobi's Home. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, only in December. Today I am going to be starting, tomorrow we'll be finishing, but today we're gonna start these little like kind of traktatsis or like a little treat that I'm going to be bringing to my daughter's daycare because she just had her second birthday and I just wanted to bring a little something. I try to stay away from like the traktatsi gifts because I just, we've received so many bubbles and other things that come in plastic bags or like little plastic toys or balloons that just like end up in the garbage. So I don't really like to do that kind of thing for my kids' birthdays. I'd much rather just like make a treat and then uh, share it with the class. They can have something. I try to make it a little bit fun. Uh, it's almost Christmas time, so I always try to make it a little bit festive. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do instead of giving like a present to the class. I have kind of like my signature thing is these strawberry Santa hats. Dan, can you please insert a picture? I've loved making these every year since my son was uh, one or two years old. I've been taking them to his daycare uh, and then to his school. But this year, the right kind of strawberries, you have to get these, they're called Kalinda, so they're like real big. Um, those are not in stock yet. They're not here yet. They were last year, they were the year before, but for whatever reason this year when I wanted to make a video about them, they're nowhere to be seen. So no Kalinda strawberries means a change of plans. So I still want to make like something with the Santa hat. So there will be a strawberry element to it, but there's gonna be a brownie base. So right now I'm going to go ahead and make the brownies and then I have to run out of the house. I'm being interviewed for a student magazine from a student journalist today. Uh, I'll leave the details in the description if I know them when the magazine's out or whatever, or I'll update you at a later time. So I don't have too much time, but I did want to make the brownies today, and then tomorrow you'll see me in a different way. Uh, tomorrow I will uh, assemble the hat piece. So if that sounds good to you, <laughs> then why don't you come on in, kick off your shoes and stay a while. I'm really glad you're here. Okay, let's, let's just hop on. Uh, by the way, if you don't follow me on Pinterest, I pin all these kind of recipes and apps and things that I make on my Pinterest, linked below or in the description box somewhere. So, let's, let's do this. Boom, boom. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to melt some butter and some chocolate. 141, so, uh -huh. excuse me, 141. So we need to melt 141 grams of milk chocolate chips. I don't have that much milk chocolate chips, so I'm just gonna use, this is a milk chocolate tab, tablet of milk chocolate. Just some um, Albert Heine chocolate that we got from a neighbor. I figure since it's melted, it doesn't matter that it's not in chips form, like it's not the chocolate chips form. We need 207 course it goes off then. So we need 207 grams of sugar. Oh! oh! The butter exploded. Oh my god. It's fine. It's fine. But holy crap. Now we're going to pour our melted butter blurp, into a mixing bowl. Oh, let me get a spatula. I hope this makes enough. I, I hope that this isn't too little. Maybe I should have doubled the recipe. <sighs> Who knows? I guess we're gonna find out. Ooh, our chocolate is getting melty. Mmm, butter and sugar. Is there anything better? Sometimes I like to crack my eggs first into a bowl and then pour it into my mixture because then if you get like a piece of the shell into your bowl, you can just take it out and you're not messing up the rest of your recipe. That's good. And here, whoop, no shell. Mm -mm. Good job. Our melted chocolate, sugar goes, or eggs go in. And then it says also to put in 
12 grams of vanilla. Okay, let's weigh out 12 grams. But wouldn't it be milliliters then? Um, 12 grams. In you go and whisk for one minute, it tells us. All right, then we put in the melted chocolate. <gasps> Ooh. So now it says keep mixing. Mmm, it's smelling so good. All right, now we need to weigh out some more stuff we need. Oh my gosh. I'm in a mess. I'm in a mess. I am in a mess, but I'm in a hurry. But that's also why it's messy. 99 grams of flour. Boom, 99 grams of flour. Okay. Cocoa powder everywhere. 25 grams. And salt. Half a teaspoon. It's about half a teaspoon. In you go. And then it says to stir this just until it is combined. All right, we are combined. And then we need 175 grams of chocolate chips, which I do have. Okay, you guys, I'm panicking because this is the last milk chocolate chips that I have, or chocolate chips that I have at all from the States, and I need to find a way to get more. My tip when I'm gonna use, like when I want to keep the chocolate chips like in peace, is I just keep this in the freezer. They're actually frozen. So once they go in the oven, they don't melt into the food, they can still retain like a little bit of their chocolate chip structure. And I like that. So if you watched any of my videos, you guys know that I constantly talk about how important food texture is to me. It's not only about the taste, it's about the texture. So I've been disappointed when I've made things in the past and my chocolate chips have melted. They haven't retained like a little bit of that chocolate chip Texture. All right, now we can pour it into a pan and bake. I want to make 30 because there's 30 kids and, and teachers, well, a little bit less, in the whole daycare. So I think it's nice that everybody gets some, not just her little group. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to do double. I'm gonna need to make one more of these if I wanna have 30 pieces of what I'm planning on making. So, well, I'm gonna have to do that later because there's not gonna be enough time. So it says 30 minutes, but mine is quite thin, so I think 15 minutes will be enough. We're gonna, we're gonna check it out. <laughs> um, how did brownies get on my face? That's not good. We're gonna ignore the mess. It's a, it's a hectic day. It's kind of chaos, but that's what life is. And that's, I also wanna show that on my channel, that like life is messy and chaotic sometimes and we just do what we can with what we got. I mean, that's, that's, that's what we do, right? Like parents and moms especially, we're trying to like do what we can, what we can. So it's actually the same day. I'm back from my interview with Kathy. Hello, it was really nice to meet you. Ta-da! Here she is. But this is definitely too small. I need to bake another one. I have 30 minutes before I need to go pick up my son from school. So guess what we're gonna do in those 30 minutes? And here. Hey guys, okay, so I have now picked up my son from school. He wants to help me finish up the rest of Luna's uh, tractatis. So I just wanted to let you know what we're gonna do because then there's gonna be no sound. We need to make the icing, which is just butter and sugar, teeny, like a drop of milk and 
that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do a buttercream frosting. So we need to make that because that's gonna kind of be the glue between the brownies and the strawberries. And that's also gonna be the little pom-pom on the Santa hat. And then I also need to just cut the strawberries, you know, the clean them, and then we're gonna assemble them. So that's what you guys are gonna see. If you see some little hands, that's Leo, my little, my five-year-old, my big five-year-old, who wants to help make his sister's um, treat for her class. So that's what you're gonna be seeing now. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'll come back to say goodbye and to show you the final product. And if there's enough left over, I will do a taste on camera. Um, so yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Ready? Let's assemble. So now we need to just start mixing just the butter for about five minutes. One, two, three, four, five. Five seconds. Is that right? You're gonna eat all of it? For all of these brownies that we don't use? Yeah. No, it's too much. Yeah, the food is bad enough. It's so close. There's too much brownies for us to eat. Yeah. No, why are you hiding it? No, it's just so that the sugar doesn't go flying everywhere. Mm. Like last time. Well, are you hungry? I don't want you to tell me that you don't want to eat your dinner because you will have eaten too much brownie. I love brownie. I know, I love it too. Maybe you can have one as a snack in your in your lunchbox, Tom. I'm looking at the brownie. You're looking at the brownie? Yeah, I'm staring at it. You're staring at it? Why? Is it hot? Yeah. Why? Maybe I'm gonna secretly eat it. No, don't do that. I'm really gonna do it. To make a brownie too. To Why would it hurt to make a brownie? I I tried to make one. And it hurt you? No. Oh. So it's good. Oh yeah. Shit. Santa's hat has a little pom pom on the top. What? Santa's hat has a little pom pom on the top. Like a little. Did I Santa Claus? It's supposed to be his hat. Are you making Santa Claus? I'm making Santa's hat. Is that Santa Claus? It's his hat. Just a hat. Okay, so we made them. What do you guys think? Are they cute? They're meant to look like little Santa hats uh, on top of a brownie. So I did my best. It's not my signature thing, but okay, let's try it. So I have just from the little brownie bits, I made two littles. So let's, let's see what Leo says and what I say. Shall we try one? All right, let's try. Cheers. Oh, careful. We ate quite some of these brownie bits. All right, ready? <laughs> what do you think? I need words. Hold on. When you swallow, I need to hear your words. Because they don't see you. So what do you say? No, no, just tell me. What do you think? Would you like it if mommy made this sometime for you, for your school? 
I like a little treat for your friends. Yeah, that's good. That brownie recipe that I made today, I made it for the first time. Perfection. It is so, so good. I think it makes it really delicious. Mm -hmm. I went for a straight um, just buttercream, not vanilla, because I didn't want to compete. So you can really taste the strawberry and that delicious brownie. Oh my gosh. No more. I'll show you, I'll show you what he's done. <laughs> His helping. I'll show you what the kitchen looks like. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for the lighting. I'm sorry that I'm not wearing a mic right now that you hear me like this. We have to run over to pick up Luna. You can see it's dark outside. So we're rushing. We're hustling. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this little festive kind of baking uh, video today. Um, let me know if you try it or if you make some festive stuff for your kids um, for school or whatever. It doesn't have to be Christmas, but for the tech fatsies, let me know. I would love to know what you guys are making too. Thank you guys so much for coming over. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for spending some time with me today. That is what I really value. So I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh yeah, is that you cooking? Yes. And what are you doing exactly? Um, I'm making a snow globe, uh, a cake snow globe. A cake snow globe mm -hmm. with that buttercream icing? Yes. Who have you seen that cooks with their hands? You. Me? Do I use my hands a lot when I'm cooking? Yes. And do I get dirty like that? No. All right. Do, what do we say when we finish a video? So, bye-bye, guys. I hope you like it. Thumbs up for my videos. I hope you like it. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love it. Good job, Leah.